Okay guys, this video is going to be about fixing the service airbag light that shows up in the driver's information center. As you can see, that light is on in the dash. It's glowing. That won't turn off. I can hit the return button and turn it off and it'll clear, but that light stays lit all the time. The check engine light, ignore that. That's just that turbo sensor, which, you know, I've shown in the past just to clear it. So these trucks, the 03 to 07 and a half, the classic style Silverado Sierra, Tahoe, and the GMC version as well as the Cadillac. The airbag system likes to go bad. There's an impact sensor that's up under the radiator support and they like to corrode. So what you have to do is actually turn the truck off Disconnect the battery. So I'll do that. Disconnect both batteries because this is the 2500 with the dual 212 volt batteries. Disconnect the battery. So I'm going to have to go under the truck, take off the skid plate, and the sensor is right there. I'll disconnect the existing sensor, plug the new one in, and we should be good to go. So let's get started. Okay, guys, as you can see, I've got the hood popped. I'm disconnecting the battery. It's a eight millimeter. And I'm just gonna use a ratcheting wrench for both of these. All right, so that's one battery. Give me two batteries right here. Okay, battery's disconnected. And what I need to do next is go under the truck and take off the skid plate. Okay guys, as you can see, I removed the skid plate from underneath the truck. There are four 15 millimeter bolts. They screw into the bottom of the radiator support and they also screw into the bottom of the crossover, cross member. And what I have in here is actually the replacement sensor. I ordered this sensor from Amazon. It came prime, so I got it in two days. And the sensor was actually $65 from Dorman. And the part number is 590204. And you open this up. A little instruction. Uh, First service manual, pay attention to all caution instruction. Basically, they're telling you to disconnect the battery, wait for a while uh, before you install the sensor because you don't want the airbags to deploy if, you know, when you're, when you fire the car up. So I disconnected both batteries. It's probably been 15, 20 minutes. I went back inside, took a break. I took the skid pan off on the bottom skid plate and I think this is a 10 millimeter bolt so let's find out yep it's a 10 let's grab a 3 8 Okay, so like I was saying, I disconnected both batteries. It's been probably 15 or 20 minutes, so this system shouldn't have any charge in it. I got the sensor, it's 10 millimeter. And I took the four bolts off, these two here and two in the back. Those are your 15s. So that sensor's right here. Use your small flathead screwdriver to push this red security tab up. All right, I pushed it. Security tab came off. Use your small screwdriver. Pop the harness loose. Okay. Okay, harness came off, no problem. Now, 
Take your 10 millimeter screwdriver, 10 millimeter socket, set it to loose. Nope, still tight. You don't really need a deep impact. Sorry. You don't really need a deep hole socket here. Matter of fact, it's gonna like run into the cross member and cause the issues, but 10 millimeter, loosen this bolt, and it should come right out. Okay, so as you can see, the numbers are different, but that's fine. I cross-referenced the doorman part number, and this is what was listed for the truck, so we should be good. Sensors look the same. Both made in Singapore, which is kind of weird, but anyway, there's the GM one. Okay, new sensors in place, plug the harness in. Okay, harness went in, then that security tab, then slide in behind it. There you go. And it's all the way in. Alright, so that's about it. Okay, so I just finished the sensor replacement. Now I'm going to hook up the battery, both batteries, put the negative terminals back on, and then get in the car and fire it up. Okay guys, I'm actually outside of the truck for starting it. You just want to be careful. Like, it would really suck if you hook that sensor back up, put the batteries back in place, you start the car and boom, these things go off. So I'm actually standing outside of the car, let's fire this thing up. Do that one more time. Okay guys, that made the airbag light turn off, that simple swap. Now you are gonna see an air message for the check washer fluid. That's gonna be another video that I need to do, another repair, but Basically, yeah, you swap out that sensor. It's the f 10 millimeter bolt for the sensor, four 15 millimeter bolts for the skid pan, and eight millimeter for the battery terminals. And that's it, it takes like 10 or 15 minutes, and you're able to fix your truck. Now, that sensor was $65 from Amazon. I got it in two days, like I said, and I think the GM sensor is like 300 some dollars, and that's why the, the doorman sensor exists you know because even dormant thinks that's ridiculous so that's a quick way to fix your truck with the airbag light and i hope it's helpful thanks guys thanks for watching my video don't forget to like it and if you haven't already please subscribe